This is a standing waves experiment using sound. More specifically, it's sound in a closed pipe. So what I have is a, a pipe which is actually open at both ends. At one end I have fixed a speaker and that's going to form the open end of the pipe. And in the measuring cylinder there's water, so the water will form the closed end of the pipe. The speaker is connected to a signal generator and th at the moment that's set to about 213 Hz. Uh, I'm going to show you how you determine when you have a standing wave in the pipe because you can't see it. So we have to go by what we can hear and it's where we get a maximum um, signal emanating from the pipe. So if I turn it on now, and I can adjust the length of the pipe by just drawing it out of the water. And we should hear that loud bit there indicating that we were we had just formed a standing wave because the length of the pipe was just right for this, for this frequency. Okay, so that's how we detect when we have a standing wave. Now the first sort of standing wave you form is the fundamental. Now that provides a way for us to determine what the speed of sound in air is. Because what we will do is we will find when we have the fundamental, we will know the frequency of the wave producing that fundamental, we also know the length of the pipe, and we can use that to determine the wavelength, and then from that we can determine the speed of sound. So I'm going to try that now. I'm going to use this ruler to uh, find the length of the pipe for our fundamental. So that's our maximum signal there. That was happening at 40 centimetres. So the length of the pipe is 40 centimetres, is 0.40 metres. For the fundamental in a closed pipe, that length of pipe is equal to a quarter of the wavelength. That means that the wavelength is equal to 1.6 metres. The frequency at which that was occurring was 213 Hz, which is what the signal generator is set to. Using the formula V equals F lambda, sometimes quoted as C equals F lambda, uh, I can now put my values in, 213, 1.6, and that should give me 340 meters per second. So that's the speed of sound in there for using this uh, experiment to determine it.